God is not a man. If I live to be a thousand years old, I will never forget the first time I discovered this verse in the Bible. I was going through a great a period of stress, of inner conflict, frustration, and fear. I had come to an impasse in my life. And one day I was reading my Bible, and I came to this matchless, incomparable chapter in the book of Numbers, chapter 23. I was reading down the page and came to this fascinating verse, God is not a man. Well, I remember how I felt. A tremendous sense of relief flooded my being. And the first thing I said was, thank God, God is not a man. And isn't it a marvelous thing tonight? God is not a man. Say it. God. Say it again. God is not a man. Shalom. This is your prophet, Prophet Miranda, the prophet of God, the daughter of Zion, and the woman of God that worked for Dr. Or Roberts. Today, I'm sharing with you my first time when I met Dr. Or Roberts. I want you to listen a little bit more to his teaching and I'll come back and begin to share that story. My first time meeting Dr. Or Roberts. To the laws of nature. He can do anything. And let me tell you this. It is contrary to the laws of nature for organic disease to be healed by faith in God. They say it can't be done. If you have this terrible thing in your body which does not respond to medical science, to man or to nature, or to any other thing, they say that it's, it's hopeless and you are incurably ill. But God is not a man. He is not subject to the laws of nature. Therefore, faith in God can heal organic disease. It can heal you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. If you believe it tonight, say amen. amen. In a few moments, I'm going to be praying for the sick. I'm going to be praying for all of you people who need deliverance, either in your soul, your mind, or your body, or for God to supply your needs. All I ask, open your mind. Believe in God. Know that he is not a man. Would you reverently bow your heads, please? Save my soul from all sin and make me thy child right now. I receive Jesus Christ as my personal Savior to live for him. Glory to God. Prophetess Miranda Grimaldi here. I give God praise for my journey at the office of Oral Roberts at Oral Roberts University. I had many opportunities to sit in classrooms, to learn the scripture, to learn the business, to learn even communication. I developed so many great friendships. Even to this day, there are strong men and women in the pulpits that are very well known that I've had the privilege to be friends with. I had the honor of working in the prayer tower. As I mentioned to you, my very first meeting with Dr. Roberts was in his office. I can remember when he walked up to me, and he says, hello, Miss Miranda. Dr. Roberts referred to me as Miss Miranda. It was always an honor to be in his presence for any time I had the privilege of being in his presence. I felt the power of God coming through him and ministering truth, come on somebody, and ministering hope. Today, this video message is for those of you that have afflictions in your body, afflictions in your finances, afflictions in your health. The power of God, the true healer, is visiting you in your home is visiting you in your workplace is visiting you in your business lift up your hands right now and say i receive the healing anointing of jesus i receive a breakthrough in my life Woo! i just felt that 
and the presence of God will continue with you throughout this day, visiting you from heaven to earth, a healing anointing visiting you on this hour. Family, I know God has visited you during this video. Be sure to share it with two or three family members and friends. Join us next week as we continue our official series with Dr. Or Roberts and your prophet Miranda Grimaldi. We love you. God bless you. And stay faithful to the presence of God. Mm -hmm.